Technology is making it easier than ever to recycle. Since January of 2013, the process for Shawnee County residents consists of three simple steps. Identifying what can be recycled, placing that item in the recycle bin, and then taking it out to the curb. The real work begins here. It's at Waste Management's Rolling Meadows facility located north of Topeka on Highway 75. But instead of going straight into the dump, these items live to see another day in a repurposing way. You're seeing a tremendous amount of technology and a lot of the processes are automated. But you can also see it still takes a tremendous amount of labor and manpower to actually make it all work and get those contaminants out. Contaminants like clothing, anything with a cord or string attached to it, and the most common nuisance of all, the plastic bag. What happens with the plastic bags, it wraps around our machinery. When it wraps around the machinery, it breaks it down, we have downtime. Sorting can come to a halt for many reasons. During our interview, the line had to be shut down for several minutes when a large container of used motor oil came crashing down on the conveyor belt. All the products that touch the oil, right. they can't be now recycled. They're done. They're done. Right. Downtime also comes from removing items that can't be recycled. Styrofoam, propane, and aerosol containers, paint cans, pizza boxes, and more, they all have to be picked out of the stream by hand. So if you have a, a product or a material that you think maybe can be uh, recycled, you're just not sure, we say when in doubt, throw it out and then go find out. And there's some valuable resources for that. How says the website RORR.com, which stands for Recycle Often and Recycle Right, is your best bet for references on what should and shouldn't be placed in your bin. Shawnee County Solid Waste Director Tom Block says the curbside recycling program is gaining popularity among residents, nearly doubling the amount of customers since the service was first offered. Growth, however, has been much slower on the commercial end, and Block says businesses are simply missing out on potential savings. For instance, if you could reduce the size of your trash container by a third or a half, there's a big reduction in trash fees uh, associated with that in a nominal fee for the recycling service. According to Vlock, some businesses have reduced their collection bill more than $100 a month. Keep America Beautiful's Felicia McKee says most people want to recycle, they just don't think they have the time. I think the hardest thing is convincing people that it isn't that difficult. It just takes seconds every day. And once you get in the habit, you know, it just, it just takes so little time. Chris Fisher, 13 News.